Hey Iris, what are we doing here? We are gonna get something. We're getting something? Yeah. Now, we're gonna meet somebody here. Who are we meeting here? Oma. Yeah. yeah. So. And we're gonna surprise her. We're gonna surprise her? Well, she might know that we're meeting her here, but we're gonna go find her inside Trader Joe's. Um, I met my mom in Bloomington. She's gonna take Iris for the night. It's Father's Day today. So I just drove down here. I have Iris's hand. So we're gonna go find my mom in the store. Iris is gonna have a fun sleepover and then I am going, or I think both John and I are going down to Northfield to pick Iris up tomorrow. But she has been begging for a sleepover with Oma. Haven't you? Yeah, go. Okay, let's go. Oh, I think someone might be excited. <laughs> <laughs> Iris, who did you find? I found Oma. She found Oma. <laughs> Look, she's still, she's so excited she can't stop jumping. <laughs> Are you still me by a juicy watermelon? Um, yes. Now we can. <laughs> oh, is it heavy? Oh my gosh, strong girl. There you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay, it's not, it's not a game. <laughs> Woo. Iris. She's so excited, oh my gosh. Iris, shall we buy this? Ooh, it's storming. Look at that, we're actually under a tornado warning right now. So we're under a tornado warning until like nine o'clock tonight. In the Twin Cities area, it was kind of an all day tornado warning thing from my understanding. I called my dad and invited him over for dinner for Father's Day and he said that he didn't want to leave the house because there uh, would be possible severe weather and he didn't want to get caught anywhere. So he said, we'll just do dinner another time. Yes, yes sir. What do you need? What do you need, Mr. Simon? How are you doing today? That's good. And how do you think John wants to spend his Father's Day? Surprise, surprise. Hello. You can't hear me? What were you saying? You're just like totally in a cave right now. The lights are uh, all off. Yeah, just doing a Grand Theft Auto heist, relaxing a little bit. It's so cold. Well, I was like not planning on playing video games, but the air conditioning is not functioning properly, so the basement is the coolest part of the house, so. You meant it's so hot. Yeah, whatever I said. <laughs> you said it's, it's so uh, cold. It's so cold down here that I've been hanging out, and I thought, yeah, why not play some video games while I'm hanging out in the basement? Oh, I wouldn't say it's cold down here, but it's cooler than the rest of our house. And I've been using the projector, and it's pretty, pretty cool. I know. This is like a teenage boy's dream down here. You know, we can watch <laughs> you... uh, Westworld after this. Uh, yeah, John and I have been watching Westworld and we love it. Yeah. So I told you guys a couple weeks ago that our air conditioning wasn't working and I actually got it to work and we had air conditioning for a while. It turned out that I just needed to have it run for a while and turn it on and leave it for a little bit and then it started producing cold air and then all of a sudden it just stopped working again and John went in there and did all the like basic stuff that could get it to work like changing the filter and uh, yeah it just it didn't start working and we're under a heat advisory today so we got a tornado warning and heat advisory today which the heat is probably why there could be a tornado but um with the humidity the heat index is supposed to be in the hundreds yeah there was a warning on tv and everything and i feel like i'm melting so we have to have someone come fix the air conditioner and John called, but because there's a heat wave, the air conditioner repair people are all booked up so we can't get one to somebody to come out for a while it's like he called multiple businesses and everybody's busy during this heat wave ah oh my gosh that instantly feels good yeah it's so much colder outside yeah it cools down at night in minnesota so we can open the windows when it starts to get later in the day it's not really night yet i think the rain it's six right o'clock it's late enough well, the rain helps it get cooler, but it's gonna get down to like 65 tonight. So we'll leave all the windows open, and we'll close them in the morning, and then hopefully the air conditioner guy comes tomorrow to look at the place. I'm just gonna step, oh yes, that feels so nice. Ah, oh, so seriously, so hot all day long. Both John and I probably look really out of it. 
Oh man, it was hot today. Thank you, rain, for cooling down the world. Okay, no, my neighbors aren't outside. I was like, hmm. Did anybody see me and say, wow, she's really weird? Aphrodite, I left the door open. Aphrodite, what are you doing? Meow. Wanna check it out? You don't mind the water? Feels nice out here, doesn't it? Need to look at everything? I love you, Aphrodite. So yeah, if anyone's wondering how Aphrodite's been doing, she's doing great, as you can see. She still hasn't needed to go back to the vet. She's on her supplements every day, and uh, she walks around. She even looks like she gained a little weight to me. Um, like especially in the backbone right by her tail before it looked like that was getting rather thin and she's on low fat food as part of her maintenance for her disease but it still looks like she's gaining weight which i don't know i think that i think that's supposed to be good i think it has to do with the fat content of most foods which is bad come on aphrodite let's go back inside it's gonna start raining again soon all right yeah kitty cat so then dinner tonight is going to be cooked on a Himalayan salt block. So it needs to go in and out of the oven a couple times because this is the first time it's being used. John chose the dinner tonight because it's Father's Day. Why is it so hard to think when it's hot outside? When I was out and about, I went to the grocery store and I got steak and shrimp and some baby portobello mushrooms to cook on the salt block and um, I got some different colder things like some different salads and stuff like that. But one of John's favorite meals in LA was the steak on the salt block at Yamashiro, if you guys remember seeing us go there multiple times. So we're trying to recreate that at home tonight. What do you guys think of the heat wave? Oh, are you ready to begin? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> What's up, potato chopping girl? Well, is this how we want them? Yeah. Like potato chips. You chopping potatoes? Yeah, all thick ones. Thicker? Yeah. At Yamashiro, I think they had fingerling potatoes. Yeah, we have different potatoes, but we're just gonna cook them like potato slices on the salt block while oh, it's still in the oven. Like this thick, are you thinking? That's fine. Watch, I can cut my finger off and then we'll have clip bait. This is getting heated up to 500 degrees. Uh, it takes a really, really long time. You gotta do it really slowly, temperature by temperature. So it's slowly but surely heating up. Shouldn't I be doing this? Mm, that's okay. <laughs> this he loves to cook. There for like maybe five minutes and I'll flip it over for about five minutes and it'll cook. It'll be delicious, so we have some shrimps. So this is the, the stuff that I got. Oh my gosh. We heated this Himalayan salt block up to 500 degrees in the oven. So nobody can touch back, this. Put it in the oven if it gets cold. Yeah, it's very, very hot. You don't want to touch it. Um, but it's a really a fantastic way to cook food. We're doing our own roasted garlic right here. You see the steam's coming up because it is hot. Yes. The steak, flip it over, and I'll be able to cut up little pieces and cook the little pieces more if I want. And I just have to say, so the potatoes are done already. Yeah, we did the potatoes on it. And they just ended up being like the perfect french fries ever. Mm -hmm. It's not quite the same as Yamashiro, but they're delicious. They taste like like, so, like french apple. fries. No, it's so good. Oh, it's, no, these are amazing. Yeah. Yamashiro, they were, I don't know, it's like fingerling potatoes. They're a lot thicker. These ended up so crispy like the most perfect french fries you could ever cook in your house. I mean, we're celebrating tonight because it's Father's Day and a lot of this doesn't sound that healthy, but actually Himalayan salt is very good for Some you. Of the best salt you can get. Well, your body needs a lot of those minerals and so it cooks right into the food and uh, you're getting a lot of good stuff with it too. I'm excited about this. Me too, it's amazing. Woo, look at that. And this is actually all natural. This salt block came from the earth produced in a Himalayan salt mine. So there was no tornado tonight and I wish my dad was here because I think he'd really like this. This food is turning out delicious. So I think we're gonna save some and I'll bring it over to my dad. Um, another day. So I keep saying, should I set the table? Should I set the table? And John's like, no, we gotta stand here and eat this. That's how it works. Mm. <laughs> so 
so good. Too yeah. good for words. Well, it cooks, it takes, you know, you can't cook a lot, and you kind of got to be around the salt, so I just figured we'll stand and enjoy our meal. Should be all right. Okay. Ooh, so good. It's this your day. Perfecto. Thanks for getting this. Yeah, no problem. Glad you like it.